Hey everyone, so this is the tutorial on how to use the bouncy sheet, otherwise known as the math conversion formula cheat sheet. So if you are anything like me, you, um, or if you have had me in a previous dosage calculations course or dosage calculations lecture, you have heard me say that I very much dislike math. Um, for some reason, math has always been my weak spot. It is the subject that I wholeheartedly struggle with the most. I am a very visual learner, and so while learning math, I found it um, very beneficial to create diagrams and things so that I could see what I was doing so that the math would make sense to me. So while I was an undergrad for stats, I would draw little stick figures and I would draw little graphs and diagrams and all kinds of things, anything that I could do to try to help myself visualize what it was that I was doing. And that way the, ma the math would make sense to me. And so I realized after I started teaching several years ago that there are a number of students who um, were in my classes that also needed a little bit of help visualizing what it was that we were learning. And so this cheat sheet uh, for learning conversions for dosage calculations was born. So um, what this sheet does is helps you have a visualization of how the decimals are converted among the metric system. Now if you are one of those math geniuses that um, can do things in your head very quickly, this will be painful for you and it is definitely not a video you want to waste your time watching. If you um, are good with the whole um, multiplication and division of multiples of 10, then you can skip this video right away and just go on to the um, D over H times Q formula. However, if you need a little help understanding how and why those um, units need to be converted to like terms, then this may be a little bit beneficial for you, or at least I hope so. Okay, so to show you how this bouncy sheet works, there's all kinds of information out here on the perimeter that you can see um, I have household measurement conversions up here. 60 drops is the equivalent of one teaspoon, three teaspoons is a tablespoon, two tablespoons is an ounce, and so on and so forth. There's Roman numerals 1 through 30 over here on the side. Other helpful dosage calculations info. A mill and a cc are the same thing. One grain, which is an apothecary measurement, is equivalent to 60 milligrams. Uh, five mils is the equivalent of a teaspoon. The abbreviation for drops is GTT. 15 uh, drops equals about a mil, and a thousand micrograms is a milligram, so on and so forth. Um, so, and then there's some other information down here at the bottom. If I move this though, it will become distortionate and it will take me forever to get it back the way it was, so I'm not going to move it. But down there is how to convert um, pounds to kilograms, kilograms to pounds. And on this side is Celsius to Fahrenheit and uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius. Okay, so the main portion for this video that we're going to focus on is here. Um, and this is the part where we bounce. So to give you an example of how this sheet works. Say we have, let me move this out of here. Say we have 200 um, and... Oops, sorry about that. 238 grams, and we want to know how many micrograms that is. Okay, so we're going to start here. Now you see gram is here, right? So we have 238, and then we need to go all the way over here to microgram. That's where we want to go. So all we do is follow the directions. There's an arrow that points if we're going from here to here, here to here, we're going to follow this arrow and we're going to bounce the decimal to the right. So we're going to bounce it one time for each spot, okay? Now 238 is a whole number, so the decimal is at the end there, so it's like having $238, okay? So we're going to have 238, we're going to bounce it once, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to bounce the decimal six times 
in order to get our answer. And I'm going to explain that to you in just what all of this is in just a second. So, 2, 3, 8, sorry I'm writing with a stylus so it's kind of sloppy, and the decimal is already here, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And basically all you do is drop in zeros. So then you would take your little, um, the decimal, then moves from here six spots over, and it comes in right here then. Okay, so a couple of things that you should know. First of all, let me circle these. These guys here, whoops, hold on. There we go, these guys, the XX. So these are placeholders. Um, they don't really have a, an official name. You can name them whatever you would like if you want to name them Thelma and Louise, Bon and Jovi, whatever, I don't care. But put them there as placeholders so you know to bounce them, okay? Um, or to make sure that you are adding a zero for those um, places. So um, let's try another one. Let me pause this and erase all this stuff and I will be right back. Okay, so say we have 50 liters. And we want to know how many kiloliters that is equivalent to, okay? So we are starting here, we are going here, and so we follow the directions. Since we're going this way, we're going to take this path, which says to bounce the decimal to the left, okay? So the decimal is here, and we are going to bounce it to the left one, two, three times. So taking 50, we're going to bounce it to the decimal one, two, three times. We put a zero in here, and now this becomes 0 0.050. So the decimal is here, and because that is less than one whole number, or it's less than one, then we have to put a zero in the front here. So 0 0.050 kilograms is the equivalent of 50, or excuse me, kiloliters is the equivalent of 50 liters. Okay, so let me erase and we'll try one more. Okay, so our next problem is 0 0.065 grams, and we want to know how many milligrams that is. So we are going to follow our arrow again and bounce our decimal to the right once twice, three times to land on milligrams. So we take our decimal here from 0 0.065 and bounce it once, twice, three times, and that makes the decimal behind the five, so that gives us 65 milligrams. So 0 0.65 kilograms my stylus isn't working very well, sorry about that, is the equivalent of 65 milligrams. So it's super easy once you get used to it. Um, like I said, if you are cool with the whole multiplication and division of tens, then knock yourself out. Do not, please do not waste your time watching this video. Um, but if you need to visualize how this works, um, like I do, then hopefully this will help clear it up for you. So this part of dosage calculations is simply converting the metric um, terms so that you end up with like terms. So if you have a problem um, and you need to convert so that your two terms, your on hand and your desired dose are the same. It makes your doing your um, problem so, a lot more, um, uh, excuse me, a lot easier. And so you, this is how you would do that, how you would convert to like terms. Okay, um, one more trick question. Two mil.
equals how many cc? I trick questions students every single semester with this question and it cracks me up. So if you are a student of mine and you're taking my class this semester and you're watching this, I expect you not to miss this, class, this question on your quiz. So two mils is the equivalent of how many cc's? Automatically students will want to come down here and start to do the bouncy sheet, um, but up here in the little um, corner you can see that mil and cc are the same thing. So two mil is equal to two cc's. So I'm throwing that in there just for fun. Okay guys, if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments or let me know and I will do what I can to help you out. Thanks.